Answer me this. How well do you know the people you trust? Because I'm about to introduce you to one of the worst serial killers of all time who was also the most loved man in his neighborhood. He regularly went to church, he hosted parties for his neighborhood, he volunteered in his community and most importantly he made everyone laugh with his alter ego Pogo the Clown. This friendly looking clown who was loved by everyone raped and then murdered more than 30 people all in the span of just seven years and no one knew get ready because this insane video will make you think how well do we know the people we trust you are watching crime tales after nightfall this is the story of the clown killer John Wayne Gacy. At 29, Gacy moved into a new community with a business in construction, an active interest in charity events and a great initiative to regularly host parties for his entire community. Gacy quickly gained a great reputation. He's a very good neighbor. We socialize with him. But behind the happy and friendly makeup, what his new neighbors didn't see was his evil soul and a hidden dark past. See, Gacy used to live in Iowa, where he was sentenced to 10 years in prison for forcing two high school boys to drink alcohol, watch porn and have sex with him. And after just one and a half years, he was let out on parole and left Iowa to start a new life. Sadly, the only lesson Casey learned from his time in jail was that he needed a better disguise. And that's how the lovable clown Pogo was born. After four years of living in his neighborhood, an employee from Gacy's company went missing. The man's family pleaded with the police to investigate Gacy, but they were ignored. A year later, a nine-year-old boy also went missing. The police checked Gacy's home, but they couldn't build a case against him. And yet another year later, a man literally reported Gacy to the police for kidnapping and sexually assaulting him. But Gacy convinced the police that the sex was consensual and he was freed. And after all of these screw-ups of the police, the law system, even the neighbors not seeing who he really was, the insane story continues in three, two, one. In the middle of all these allegations against Casey, the police was getting complaints of a man picking up young men and boys from the park. Indeed, it was Casey who was luring them into his house. Police even saw many boys going in and out of Casey's home. But his master plan of being the trustworthy, nice neighbor worked. All the red flags were ignored. No one suspected the successful, generous and fun clown Pogo could also be a serial killer. Not until a 15-year-old boy, Robert Peast, went missing. Robert told his mother he was going to meet a man about a job offer in a construction company. He went missing after that. It was only then that the police finally connected the dots and started investigating Gacy. Get ready, because this story is about to get even more insane. Gacy has become so cocky about never getting caught, he basically stopped trying. He showed up to an interview with the police four hours late, covered in mud. That's when the police decided to search his house. They not only found the belongings of Robert Peast, but also of other boys who were still missing. Somehow, Gacy was still confident that clowns can get away with murder, and so you'll never expect what Gacy did next. With full confidence, he invited the officers to have a cup of coffee. But no amount of coffee could mask the smell of a dead body that was clearly somewhere close. By this point, Gacy had dug his own grave. He quickly tried to save himself from the horrors of all his crimes by admitting to killing just one person. Thinking he could do damage control, he showed them the exact place where he buried the body, but it was too late. They noticed a dog. leading to a space under Gacy's house where after days of digging they found 29 bodies 
29 boys and men horribly killed by everyone's favorite neighbor. Later on, Gacy admitted that he tortured, raped and murdered at least 30 men and boys. At that point he had killed the most people in American serial killer's history. Gacy was given death penalty, but even then he found a way to shock the world. If you notice here, we got pictures of every one of the victims here and Believe it or not, for the last 12 years, I've studied these photos of the victims. When you look over at the, the photos, I have no recollection of any of them. Never met them. He kept on shocking us all the way till his final breath, when he uttered his final words. Kiss my And just like that, the kind neighbor was gone. Night fam, I started this video asking you how well do you know the people you trust? Because even though Gacy was a monster, no one around him saw him for who he really was. He had perfected his disguise so well that even after being sentenced, political figures who thought they knew him were saying that he could have never done anything like that. This just goes to show that you can never fully know a person. And so, Today I ask you to please never judge a book by its cover, never ignore any report, because you never know what a person hides behind the mask they wear right in front of you.